Consider this computer program here. And let's look at the first line. Welcome is assigned hello world. And when we see a program statement like this, what's really happening is that the name welcome, the identifier welcome, is being bound to an object. And in this case, it's going to be a string object. And that string object is going to have the value of hello world. Now, if we map that onto the model we've been using so far in this particular playlist, what we will have is an execution space. We'll have a string class. And from the string class, we'll produce an object and we label it with the word welcome, as you can see here. Now, this object, like all the other ones we've looked at, is going to have an ID. It's going to have a type. And in this particular case, the value is going to be hello world. If we now take a look at the second program statement, which is this one here, we can see that it says message is assigned hello world. So message is going to be bound to an object and in this case a string object that's going to have the value hello world. But we can see here that we already have an object that has the value hello world. And under these circumstances, because an object already exists with the value that's required, Python doesn't generate another object. In fact, it binds to the existing object that has this value hello world, the identifier message which we can demonstrate by showing a label appearing to be attached to the same object. If we now look at the runtime for this particular program as shown here, what we can see that these three statements are responsible for outputting these three lines in the output, which we can see in turn have come from these fields within the object, the ID, the class string and the value hello world. And just to emphasize, you see these three are outputting the ID of welcome, the type of welcome, and printing welcome. Whereas if we go on to these three, we can see that they're dealing with message. Here, here, and here. In other words, we're showing the output of this particular string and of this particular string. It just happens that these two strings are the same object. So when we print these three, we get this output, which we can see is identical to this output here, because the same object has got two labels attached to it, one welcome and one message. So these two identifiers are effectively sharing the same object. Check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and get an automatic update every time I upload a new video. Also consider subscribing to the Google Plus Circle that relates to these videos.